Hi, I'm Sue Reisker. I'm the marketing manager with Invivo, and I welcome you to this year's RSNA 2010. We have several key applications of highlight at this year's RSNA, in addition to our orthopedic coil line, our patient monitoring with the Expression patient monitor, as well as our breast solution with Dynacad, with Oncad, and our luminescence breast coils. The prostate MRI solution includes Dynacad for prostate as well as Dynatrim. This is an emerging marketplace and we're very, very excited to have this product in, the, in this last year. Prostate MRI can help pinpoint suspicious areas within the prostate that current standard of care may not be able to provide. Our prostate MRI solution includes Dynacad for prostate as well as the Dynatrim biopsy solution. What we found is that with prostate MRI, you can actually pinpoint suspicious areas within the prostate, which then, under MR guidance, we can actually do a biopsy of that suspicious area. And here's our product manager, Bernadette Greenwood, to show you some of the details. Prostate MRI, when inserted at the appropriate time of the diagnostic workup of patients with elevated or rising PSAs, can provide invaluable information to the urologist and the oncologist. Let me show you a case. Following diagnostic imaging, this patient came in for a transrectal interventional MR biopsy procedure. Following diagnostic imaging, we can correlate areas that are suspicious on T2-weighted imaging, diffusion-weighted imaging, and even spectroscopy. This allows for a personalized, targeted biopsy and can help the patient avoid the barbaric procedure of saturation biopsy or repeat trust biopsy. This patient presented with a PSA of 6.2 and he had already undergone one trust biopsy which was negative. He had heard that technology existed to do both imaging with MRI and biopsy guidance with MRI through in vivo and went to a facility where this technology is available. We were able to image in the sagittal plane and calibrate our hardware to our software to produce an image that demonstrates the trajectory that a biopsy gun might take if inserted after a certain type of target. Once our system is calibrated, we can image in the axial plane. We can localize the area that was detected on a diagnostic MR and relocalize it utilizing just a T2-weighted sequence and target specific areas for biopsy, minimizing the number of cores that are required and reducing the amount of trauma to the rectal wall. The TRIM device, which stands for Transrectal Interventional MR, consists of hardware, um, part of which is a needle guide that functions both as a fiducial marker and a receptacle for a biopsy gun. This allows us to do MR-guided intervention for tailored results for each patient. It's minimally invasive, it's simple to use, and it's award-winning technology, the 2010 gold winner of the Medical Design Excellence Awards. Our other key application that we're introducing at this year's RSNA 2010 is NeuroQuant. NeuroQuant is an option for our advanced DynaSuite Neuro fMRI uh, workstation platform. NeuroQuant provides volumetrics, which is a tool that can help assist a neurologist or a radiologist in, in the assessment of Alzheimer's and other dementia. NeuroQuant provides several report capabilities. In this case, this is an age-related atrophy report, which shows the volume of the left and right hippocampus, as well as the left and right inferior lateral ventricles. This is important in the assessment of Alzheimer's and other dementia. For more information, feel free to visit our website, www.invivocorp.com.